Now paint me dirty with all of your hatred, and the journey to the dark side will be complete. <coughs> Hi, Jubies. Here's Alexandra, and welcome to part two of How to Paint a Stormcast Eternal. Well, in the last episode, uh, we have painted this little fella here in all its uh, glory now, and uh, this is the in brackets clean stage. And the next part uh, here, this one, uh, will be to uh, well dirten him up, and uh, for that we need uh, washes and pigments and all the fun stuff. And uh, well, it will be quite a ride. Buckle up, we will start now. Okie dokie. So, the first thing uh, we are going to do is uh, apply more shadows here uh, in the ropes. And for that uh, we use some watered down uh, Agrax Earthshade. So, let's put some on our uh, trusty palette. Just like that. And then we will uh, add some drops of water to the mix. So, and mix it all together. <coughs> yeah, now uh, we will start applying that to the deepest uh, recesses here. Why am I watering down the color and not use it straight out of the pot? Well, uh, <coughs> we want to uh, gradually uh, build up some uh, dirt and uh, residue, and uh, for that we need it watered down because we are uh, using some coats, several coats, <coughs> and we are uh, well glazing the surface. Mm, ah, well, what the heck. Let's just go over all, it, all of it. <coughs> so, also here the top part. I will uh, quickly dry that now uh, with my hair dryer. So uh, this will get loud, so I will skip that part. Be right back. Okay, the uh, main part of the wash is uh, dry now. It is still a little bit wet, but uh, we can uh, work on the shoulder pads and the shield now for that part. <coughs> I will use some uh, seraphim sepia <coughs> and uh, well I'm experimenting now a little bit I take here a, a nice fluffy brush and well I will uh, try some wash stippling now so let's see if that if that works shall we so I would try to darken the uh, edges here a little bit. Yeah, and it seems to work. With that method you can apply now a quite even uh, thin coat of wash. Interesting. <coughs> So, oh. that should relatively quickly dry, so we can apply a second coat and a third coat. Uh. Oh, that's too much on the brush now. For us, we can adjust 
the amount quickly on a paper towel. Neat. Yeah, that really works. So with that method, we can uh, gradually darken this stuff. Let's try that also down there at the bottom. Yeah, just like some built up dirt from the ground. Just dabble it on. Just like that. So, maybe get some known oil in there into the mix. Let's mix that here on the palette quite quick. Some more sepia to it. Get most of that away. <coughs> Make it even darker and darker. You've seen I've uh, touched a little bit on the uh, metal part here and there, but uh, that's not terribly important right now. It helps overall with the look. And you see where I can uh, apply a little bit more every there, everywhere there where it's, where it's dry already. I think this uh, painting method, this uh, totally dirting things up, uh, is called in the painting community the uh, Blanchet way or Blanchet Zu, because it's uh, based on this uh, grim, dark uh, uh, concept art from uh, Blanchet in the codexes and the rule books and such. Oh, yeah, it starts to build up. Also here at the feet maybe a little bit. Yeah. Some more of the known oil. Some more zippia. Yeah, dotting up the feet. Now I'm concentrating more towards the bottom here of the shield. Oh, that's a little bit too much. You can dab it away if it starts pooling. Okay. I think we're getting there. So I uh, let this stage now dry a little bit and come back to you in just a second. Okie dokie, uh, now the dipped and stippled uh, wash is now dry. Now it's time for another layer of wash. As I said before, uh, we will be using Agrax Earthshade water down again for a second layer to build up the shadows in the recesses. <coughs> so again on the palette some water there we go mix 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 
mix and down we go. So. Let's build up here a little bit more in these crevices here. Some up here. So with a clean damp brush you can blend it in so that we don't have uh, this harsh uh, coffee stain lines. Yeah, this needs uh, to dry now. I use my handy dandy hair dryer again. Be right back. Okay, the wash is dry again. And uh, well, now it is time for some blood splatter. So, um, <clears throat> let's start with a, a base coat of a, a dark deep red here. Good old uh, crimson gore. So let's start with a mace. Uh, we want to have it uh, streaked like that. So like a big splat that happened here. direction where the splat would happen so like that sorry if that was out of focus <clears throat> so now we highlight that a little bit just a tiny bit with uh, some brighter right so again just some streaks here and there So now uh, we take here uh, blood for the blood god, the technical paint. <clears throat> and with that we go over it. Not entirely, just here and there. amount of black to darken it. Teensy tiny amount of black. <clears throat> Here, right at the tip where the most amount of blood would be. So, and uh, now we will splatter on some uh, blood onto the rope. <coughs> and some more blood for the blood cord. <coughs> and, um, well, if we, we imagine he uh, swung like that and then poof, a spray hit him like uh, in a 45 degree angle from the front, uh, like this way here. Splatter him a little bit with blood. Zack, like that. Here a little bit. And then barely touching, a little bit stippling of this blood. See? Now we uh, make some bigger 
impact here and there. Just tiny dots. Let's say here was the main arterial spray. So let's get with the dark blood here again. And some dots here, a little bit at his face maybe, like that. So this area would be clean because it's out of the harm's way. Maybe a little bit more here. There we go. Yeah, isn't that nice? A nice clean spot. So, yeah, and uh, <clears throat> hmm, let's see. Uh, I think I will uh, dab a tiny little amount of uh, black wash here, yeah, non oil again. Just a tiny amount. Don't uh, wrong brush. Uh, how could I? Wrong brush, wrong brush. Uh, let's take. Mm, let's take you for a spin. Tiny stippling brush. Just like that. Uh, no, that doesn't show really. So let's move from Norm Oil to maybe. Black Templar contrast paint. Maybe that helps. <coughs> Let's give this a spin. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. For some more dark stippling dirt. Nice and uneven, maybe a little bit here. <coughs> so, a little bit much. Yeah, this is this is the way. Just like that. So, also we will tackle the shield down here at the bottom with this. Okay. Some clean water for the fade. And there we go. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. <coughs> uh, we can also tackle along here. So, let's remove the excess. And maybe a little bit here. So, some fading, we have to move quickly, yeah, and et voila, we have uh, found another way how to uh, really nicely use contrast paints, didn't we? Really nice. Yeah, and I think he is properly dirted up now. Uh, let's uh, add a little tiny bit of, of the black stippling here to the lower part of the shoulder pads to give that the tiny little amount of contrast more. Tiny tiny bit. Yeah. That looks
looks good. Good. Yes. Now, your path to the dark side has been completed. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you like this uh, little tutorial over two parts on how to paint a really nice and uh, dirty Stormcast Eternal Sequitor. And, uh, well, we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra. See you.